Hey gang, we're back in lockdown and it is a snowy day. So I thought I'd film in my sunroom today. Got a big cup of coffee. Because coffee is life. So as you can see behind me, I got squishy mail. I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, I'll be honest, I did look because, you know, curiosity was killing me and I didn't have time to film, but I looked anyways. But first, I want to talk about my ugly sweater. I've been using this time to sort and look through all my stock and stuff, and I've got buckets and buckets of hand spun yarn. Not enough to do any individual project with, of course, just buckets of hand spun yarn. So, I made this ugly sweater. I'm not a knitter. I'm just still learning all that stuff. But I knit this sweater and it's like swatches of different hand spuns. Now this sleeve I um, stitched on inside out, but I'm okay with that because this is just for me. You can see I have different yarns everywhere. Here's a nice stripey one. It's pretty, eh? So this is my ugly sweater. I did a horrible job putting this sleeve in. I may have to fix it. This was the side I started on. By the time I got to this side, it was much better at joining and making it nice and smooth. But this is my ugly sweater. And I'm so happy with it. It is warm and soft and everything about this I made. So I'm very proud to wear my ugly sweater and I'm starting on a second one, but I'm hoping that it'll turn out a little less ugly and a little more just crazy. So let's get into the boxes. Over the Christmas time, Darn Good Yarn had a sale on these black boxes, which I wanted to try. They were a hundred bucks. And as I was checking out, they offered a bonus box for $75. So let's go with the bonus box first. Now, if you don't know Darn Good Yarn, they work with um, women in small countries to help them create a sustainable, fair working environment. I believe they deal with a lot of companies in India and everything they use is recycled or helps these women in some way to have a sustainable life, a fair, sustainable job. And I really like what they stand for. And I've ordered Sari silk skirts from them before too, which are absolutely beautiful. If you get a chance, get some. So I thought I would, I've never really gotten into their yarn, so I thought I would try some mystery boxes to start. So let's have a look in the bonus box. So the first thing, Rattle. The first thing on top is this lovely recycled Sari silk scarf. And you can see they just use variations of silk to make this beautiful scarf. I will find a way to dress this because, you know, I like to be a little bit artsy. Hence the reason I got the Sari silk skirts too. <laughs> so, there we go. There's one way to wear it. So it's a lovely Sari silk scarf. I love it. It's beautiful. Let's see if they have a price on this. So it is, uh, it's called a silk medley scarf. It's reclaimed Sari silk. It's 20 inches by 70 inches. And manufacturer's recommended price is $60. I paid 75 for the box. So next we have this cute little keychain. It's little felted balls. This might end up being a toy for my kitty cats because I don't actually have keys. I have like two and they're on with my car keys. But it's cute nonetheless. Next we have this. Look at how beautiful that is. It's all sparkly and colors. It's so pretty. 
So this is a lace weight silk yarn called Sparkle Holly Jolly. It is a super fine of 300 yards and it's Anamika silk, which is reclaimed silk. And this has a manufacturer's recommended price of $17 and this is handmade in India. So between the scarf and this, I already have the price in my box back. Next we have, ooh, a project bag. Isn't it pretty? Look it. It's so pretty. And you can never have enough project bags. At least I can't. I love project bags. I can't say that I use them a lot, but for what they're intended, but I love them. So this is uh, cotton and it is a $15 bag. Next we have some DIY jewelry kits. There's two of them here and they are manufactured price, recommended price of $20. So this one is a necklace and that stone is so pretty. I will definitely bring that one. And this one is a Moonlit Forest Necklace. So you can see some of the beads in the back. So those are cute. Oops. Next we have a set of dryer balls. I make my own dryer balls, but these are wonderful. They do, they bang around in the dryer a little bit but they do help with static and they help it to dry quicker. Now it's not the same as a dryer sheet, but it is a good ecologically sound way of battling your static. Next we have, oh, we got two of them. We got their little logo pins. What I tend to do with these is I get some with various yarns and stuff is I'll put them on a project bag because they're cute. And then we have this lovely little necklace. Oh, it's got a little elephant on it. Can you see the elephant? There he is. There he is. He's cute. That's a pretty little necklace. They don't have any tags or price wise on these, but it's got to be at least 20 bucks, I would think. It's like a handmade one. And then we have a DIY jewelry making kit. So it's got lots of beads and findings in it. Generally, what I end up doing with beads is I end up just spinning them in or I crochet them in. But I love beads. So to me, this is a nice little addition. And then finally, we have two amigurumi kits. This one is a unicorn, which is really cute. And this one is a frog, which is really cute as well. Now, I've never looked in one of these kits, so let's open one up. And it says that you should have everything you need to make the project. So let's have a look. I didn't bring scissors because I had already opened the boxes. Silly me. Hold on. I can get in here. I can do it. I just didn't want to destroy the box, which I did. Typical of me. So inside we have the pattern. One side is crochet. One side is knit. I prefer crochet for my amigurumi. I have tried knit amigurumi. It just, it stays so soft that it's hard to stuff it to any kind of firmness. So inside we have stuffing. We have the white wool. We have the colors for the mane. And I'm not sure where the brown goes. Oh, that's his feet and horn is the brown. 
Those are some pretty colors. That'd make a really cute rainbow ring for a unicorn. Then they have, ooh, DPNs. Saddle double pointed needles. And then they have a little plastic crochet hook and a little plastic darning needle. I will probably use my own ergonomic crochet hooks, but it's really cool that they include everything literally that you need to do the project. So I'm going to pop that back in the box and the frog would be the same. So let's just put all this back. There's Bobo. He's always curious about what we're doing. Latte is around. I do have two cats, but Latte doesn't put in appearances like Bobo does. Latte is also a little bit older. <laughs> He's so graceful. Latte is a little bit older. He's not quite as curious because he's seen it all before. All right, so that's box number one. Now, let's get into the $100 black box. I just like all the little things they put on it. So you can hear probably another beaded kit in here. So let's open it up. We have this lace weight silk yarn in autumnal equinox. There's 300 yards of super fine yarn per skein and it retails for $14. But guys, look at those colors. Oh, it's a single ply and it is so soft. I can't even tell you how soft this is. And there's four skeins. Four. Look at that. That's enough for a project. I can do a whole project in this yarn. So what did I say they were worth? 14. 28, 19, 20, 19, 20, 20, 21. So we're at $56 just for this yarn. And I paid a hundred bucks for the box. So next we have this. This is Waves of Cotton Yarn in the color Gray Dove. This retails for 16 bucks a skein. And it is a number two weight. And there's 320 yards. And it's got like a, a thick and thin kind of spiral apply to it. So there's two skeins of that. So that was, and then there's two skeins of Desert Sage. These colors are great together. And then there's two skeins of, what is this one called? Fading Purple. And you know what? All three colors go beautifully together. Someone really picked a great color palette here. So with six, six skeins of this, I have more than enough for a big project. And these were $16 a piece. So we've already got our hundred bucks back right there in yarn. But wait, there's more. Here we have a knit and crochet card deco pack. There's a five pack in here and they're just little white decals you can put on your vehicle. Yarn related stuff. It's kind of fun. Then we have the ombre knitting needles and hook pack. Now, if you've ever looked at darn good yarn, these are kind of their signature thing, but they are so cute. Look at them. Aren't they cute? I love the ombre color. I've never actually used these, so I will have to try them out. It's a five millimeter crochet hook and 
a US8 or a five millimeter knitting needle. I tend to not use straight knitting needles. I use all my um, circular needles, even for a straight projects, because I just find them easier to hold and control. But I will definitely try these out. And these retail for 20 bucks. So then we have some Crafting Hands Hand Salve. And this is beeswax, shea butter, olive oil, unrefined hemp seed oil, cocoa butter, honey, comfrey leaves, and extract oil. So it's just a little tube of hand stuff. Ooh, it looks quite lovely. Now, as you can probably tell, <laughs> I could always use some salve. I'm just going to put a little bit on. I actually have a skin condition that causes me to break out on my hands and feet. It's a form of psoriasis, but I never get it anywhere else on my body. But I'm going to try a little bit of this on there and we'll see how it does. It just smells like beeswax. All right, next we have what we can always use more of, or at least I can, a set of stitch markers. Now, I love these kind of locking stitch markers because they work for both uh, crochet and knit. With crochet, you can just hook it through either around the post or right in the stitch. And with knitting, you can just pop it on your needle and it just slides back and forth. I love these stitch markers. And we have another pin. So I can put another one on a project bag. And yes, indeed, we have the DIY jewelry kit. Again, I use beads for all sorts of projects, so I'm not at all upset by that. Those are some cute beads. And there are some findings in there, which I can use to make jewelry. And last, but not least, I'm just looking for a price. Uh, 30 bucks. We have the Sock of the Month 2-pack. So what they did with these is they have two balls of yarn that are wound the same way so you can make matching socks. There's enough in each one for a sock. They also give you project patterns for a knit sock and a crochet sock. And here is the matching booklet and in it they give you information on how it's done. Meet the artisans. And then they give you the sock club exclusive. So I wasn't in the sock club, so I don't have any of these. So this is awesome. So they give you a couple of knit patterns. Bobo, stop it. And a couple of crochet patterns. And it is amazing. So we have the indigo quail. Is the name of the company, I guess. And it's made in Turkey. Oh, it's color 61. And then we have a second sock of the month club. This one is uh, color 54. And it's the same uh, information as the other one. And the book to go with it. As long as well as a knit and a crochet pattern. I'm so happy. There's so much yarn in this box that it was well worth the $100, in my opinion. If you like yarns and you like natural fibers, then I think this is definitely, definitely worth the money. Just, just this yarn alone is worth over a hundred bucks. And I'm so excited to knit with this, or crochet, with this silk. It's going to be amazing. How much was there in that? That was 300 yards? 300 yards per skein. I could probably knit a small top or something with that. Crochet, mm, 3, 6, 9, 12. Eh, it's only 1,200 yards. That's not a whole lot for crochet. I might be able to do some kind of loose lace knit or lace pattern in crochet. 
but I will most likely knit this. So that's the Darn Good Yarn black box and my bonus box that I got with it because they suggested it at checkout and I'm a sucker. What can I say? At least I'm honest about it. But I'm not displeased with what I got. I think that it was well worth the money. Um, I did have to pay exchange rate, of course, because I'm in Canada and they're in the States. But even with the exchange rate, I'm still really happy with what I got in my darn good yarn black box. So if you see it come up on sale, I would say just try it. Thanks, guys. See you later. Just some proof that I do indeed have two cats. Oh, they're going to butt sniff. Lovely boys. Do that on camera.